everybody Nancy here from Fancy Nancy Diamond Painting and I'm just gonna do a little how-to video Beth you asked for this so this is for you dear <laughs> um, just so you know the first thing you have to do is buy a kit uh, it doesn't matter if you go on Amazon or wish.com or aliexpress.com or um, Walmart for that matter. Walmart.com. They all sell kits. What I did is I bought some partial kits to start with. And partial means that not the whole canvas is covered with drills. It's, it's just a part of the design. If you look at my past projects you'll see they're mostly partials because I wanted to learn how to place the diamonds, how it worked, how to fix if I put it in the wrong place, all the little tips and techniques. Now a basic kit you will get a green tray like this and a drill pen and usually it's just a single drill pen just one diamond at a time and it comes with this funny little pink stuff people call it wax people call it glue um charlie's stealing my other tray i have other trays that i got from bigger kits um this is one that i like because it has the funnel you will see that the the trays have these little lines on them and those are used for shaking oh I shook the camera for shaking the tray back and forth and lining up the diamonds you will also get in most of the kits these funny little bags um, these are cute uh, the the drills come in a plastic bag that you need to open up and they're not usually not resealable so you can use these to hold your drills after you've opened up one of the little bags um the first thing i bought when i decided i was going to do this there's something in the wax when i decided i was going to do this craft was something to hold my drills it can be um pill containers it can be bead organizers i have these little um little pots that screw together i have um the little sets it's a little case about that big and it has uh, seven rows of four containers in a row you can use those you could use cups, you could use whatever you want to use, you could use the bags. You don't have to put a lot of money into this to get started. Um, the other thing that I bought right away was a light pad because I noticed on my first canvas I was constantly holding it up to the light to try to see the symbols better and what this does is it just shines right through and makes it really simple to see the symbols. Um, I also bought this lap desk because I, I like to be comfortable. Some people wind up getting drafting tables and all sorts of fancy setups. I just want to put my feet up on my couch and be comf comfy. The first thing you have to do is put some of this pink wax into your drill pen because that's what you use to pick up the diamonds. You put a little sticky wax into the hole at the end of the drill pen and you place it on the diamond and you pick it up. Now to fill the pen is super easy. This wax has, um, let me see it here. It has clear plastic on both sides of it. So you just peel a little back and simply punch the pen into the wax. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but that's nice and full. <coughs> oh, 
I'm sorry. Excuse me. So now my wax has a little hole in it. And this wax will stay in there for hours and hours. Um, I'm still on my first piece of wax. I'll pull it out and show. I should pull it out and show you here. Let me get it. I have done five, six diamond paintings that I've completed. And that is my first piece of wax. I haven't even gotten close to finishing it and yet I have all these other pieces. You get some with every kit. You get wax, you get a tray, you get a pen. You wind up with a stack of trays like this. And I laugh about the little bags because I get them every time and I don't use them. So just kind of cracks me up a little bit. So just for the sake of showing you how it works, I haven't started my new canvas, but when I do, say this is the color that I needed. Its symbol on the canvas is S, as in Sam. So I would carefully open it up and shake a little bit into my tray. I'm just showing you so I'm not putting too much in. Normally I would fill that. And then you give it a shake. Sorry, shaking the camera. You shake it back and forth. And if you look, you will see that they all lined up. Um, these little drills have a faceted side and a flat side. Now you want the flat side down in the tray. I've got some stuck together there. So now that they're in the tray like that, I can go in with my drill pen and just place it on top of the drill and it, the sticky glue picks it up. And then I would place it onto the canvas and the canvas is sticky also. So now the canvas is going to grab anything that I do. So I have a new canvas, a new project I'm working on. Oh, and here's where the funnel is nice. When I'm done with a color, I can just gently let it fall right back into the little container. Oop. Diamonds don't want to go in. Come on, guys. Let's go. There we go. And the funnel makes it easy. Um, or if you have just the green one, you just gently place it in there. Okay, so I'm going to stop the camera and get my canvas out. And we can start working together on one. Okay, well, I'm going to have to work on my... Uh, tripod and my angles but this is my new canvas it's it's really big and there's a hair in the tray so I'm gonna put some of these in here this is the first color I'm gonna work with There we go. Now my left arm is not super steady. you can see that I'm not blocking the view oh first thing I did was get some drills on my shirt lovely 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 now I'm gonna find a get a little credit card out so that I can straighten these 
I like to use a different pen for that. Once you really get started, the squares start lining up. They don't have to be perfect. Um, I've done a lot of round diamond paintings, which are a little easier. You just need to get them in the middle. And you can do this any way you want to. You can start in one corner, in the other corner, start in the middle, whatever you feel like doing. Um, you'll also see that I, I cut the paper and peeled it back. So if I decide to stop, I can just place that right back down again. Um, it's really not going to dry out after like an hour of being exposed. But it does protect you from hair, dust, dirt. I think I have China mail today because the puppies are acting like there's a mailman here. Very exciting. Come on, you ferocious dogs. You're so scary. Sound like somebody's stomach growling. For all this growling and noise, they don't... If somebody came in here, they'd be afraid. They don't bite. They're not vicious. Little dogs just make noise. Hey! Hey! Puppies! So that's it. You, it's it's very much like coloring. I can't tell you how much this barking is annoying me. So I'm going to go and uh, come join our Facebook page. And I'm going to go strangle some puppies. Bye.